Now before we begin this funeral mass as we gather to pray for the happy repose of the soul of Jim Brill, I'd like to first and foremost welcome Father Joe McGrath who is joining us for this mass. And all those who join this live stream as we unite in prayers this morning for the happy repose of the soul of Jim Brill, I will invite the members of Jim's family, Fiona, Joanne, Patrick and David, to bring up different symbols in love and memory of the dad. We shall now place on Jim's casket the symbols of the cross and the Bible. In life, Jim cherished the, go the gospel of Christ. May Christ now greet him with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. In baptism, Jim received the sign of the cross, may now share in Christ's victory over sin and death. So on behalf of the parishioners of Navan, on behalf of all the priests and on my own behalf, let us extend our sympathies to members of Jim's family here with us, to Bridie, his loving wife, the sons David and Patrick, the daughters Fiona and Joanne, the brother Patrick, the sister Esther, the grandchildren Anna, Seamus and Ali, Orla, Andrew and Christian, the daughters-in-law Fiona and Nicola, relatives, neighbors, and friends. May the good Lord in his love and mercy bless, strengthen, and console you all. So begin this Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. To celebrate this Mass worthily, we call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, blessed Mary Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive all our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Are you here not in trouble, A Christ and Troke A Christ and Troke Oh, here not in Troke A Let us pray. 
God Almighty Father, our faith professes that the Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery, your servant Jim, who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice to rise again through him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. I invite Joanne for the reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We want you to be quite certain, brothers and sisters, about those who have died, to make sure that you do not grieve about them like the other people who have no hope. We believe that Jesus died and rose again, and that it will be the same for those who have died in Jesus. God will bring them with him. We can tell you this from the Lord's own teaching, that any of us who are left alive until the Lord's coming we will not have any advantage over those who have died. At the trumpet of God, the voice of the archangel, we will call out that command and the first to rise. And those of us who are still alive will be taken up in the clouds, together with them to meet the Lord in the air. So we shall stay with the Lord forever. With such thoughts as these, you should comfort one another. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. 
reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God still, and trust in me. There are many rooms in my Father's house. If there were not, I should have told you. I am going now to prepare a place for you. And after I have gone and prepared you a place, I will return to take you with me, so that where I am, you may be too. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said, Lord, we do not know where you are going. So how can we know the way? And Jesus replied, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The Gospel of the Lord. Now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friends, I'll say it clear, I'll state my case of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full, I've travelled each and every highway, and more much more than this, I did it my way. One of the best known songs of them all, world famous perhaps, to the legendary voice of old Blue Eyes himself, Frank Sinatra. A song that celebrates all our own stories as each one of us find our way through all the twists and turns of life's journey. Jim Reel loved Frank Sinatra. Shooby dooby doo, he would say when he'd meet you. And he loved that song in particular, celebrating the drive to do it his way. And surely many who are listening in here today, those of us who are gathered here in the church, those of you who are with us online, you will remember Jim for that ability to do it his way. The genius that he was with such an extraordinary mind to see and to do things his way. Whether it was early on, on the job, with Port Namona, down those early days in Port Arlington, or latterly with Tara Mines here in Navan, or maybe happily tipping away in his own workshop at the back of the house in Blackcastle, fixing someone else's washing machine or maybe creating some new gadget. Jim's personal gift to do all things his way was only matched by his generosity of spirit, so willing as he was to share that genius with all of us who ever called on him for help. Maybe it was the Black Castle 
Residents Association, to which he contributed so much down through the years, or maybe some colleagues, friends and neighbours around Navan and further afield, who would call Jim in the sure confidence that if he could at all, he would help them out. A life of giving and reaching out to others, it was just who he was. And so today, we thank God for the gift of Jim's life and all the kindness and concern for others he showed for over 87 years. How proud Jim was that some of that very skill set rubbed off on you, his children, making your own way in the fields of engineering and construction. Influenced as you were as children by being around him, watching what he did and trying to understand the way he thought. Because in truth, you were Jim's life. As fate would draw Jim to the bogs of Offaly, there in Port Arlington in the early 50s, he would find there more than just a job, but also his life partner, his soulmate, his Anamkara, who would share the joys and the ups and downs of life with him through over 60 years of married life together. I'm sure Bridie that there were some dark days along the way for you both. But for those of us in the distance, looking on, the pair of you really seemed such a wonderful match, enjoying such a happy time together, laughing and smiling so often. You really were blessed in each other. And then, in your children. You, Fiona, who took such good care of him right to the end of his days. You, Joanne, his youngest, and the apple of his eye. You, David and Paddy, following in his very footsteps. How proud your father was of all of you. You were his life, his meaning, his purpose. And together, you all brought such joy and happiness into the lives of your parents as they watched you grow into the young people and then on into adulthood. He was always talking about you and the latest news in your lives about your own families your careers, or travel. The love, the support, and the encouragement flowing through the doors of number 64 created a family foundation that gave each of you a life start as you prepared to spread your own wings out into the world in time, welcoming others into the real family circle, especially you, precious grandchildren, you who are really so dear to Grandad. And though we gather the day in sadness to celebrate the life of a wonderful brother to you, Patsy and Essie, a wonderful husband father and grandfather, we also give thanks to God for an extraordinary life, ever committed to the Christian call to bring kindness and hope and love into the world whenever he could along the way. 
walking from the front door into the kitchen of Jim's home, if you happen to glance at the wall hangings under the stairs, there you'll see a framed poem story recalling all kinds of anecdotes and memories from Jim's working life. But probably most of all, it is the title of the piece that says it all. Three little words. The happy man. And that really seems to capture Jim Real. How happy Jim was as he made his way through life. Maybe in the quiet of the sitting room, beside Rambo or Alfie, absorbed in one of the many books that he had read. Or maybe it was in some of the mini breaks anywhere around Ireland or Scotland, or indeed his travels all over the world to satisfy his curiosity about how things worked like Venice, with its incredible canal structure. Or maybe it was the Saturday night tradition, down with you, Patsy, and Essie, and Bridie, in Ludlow Street, dropping into Finnegan's for a good pint, and then bringing it back across the street, through the Oriel, to catch up with you both, on all the news from around the town that week. So many happy memories of a wonderful life that hopefully will bring you all comfort and not a little joy in the time ahead. Jim loved the bicycle. Remember some years ago, not that long ago really, Michael, my brother and I, and we puff on our way up Flower Hill after a long jog one morning. And all of a sudden, Jim flies by up the, hill, up the hill, a big cheery wave, and disappeared off into the distance, out the Slane Road. And Michael and I look at each other in astonishment. Because Jim Reel is in some shape for a man of his years. Did you see how fast he flew by us going up the hill? It was only a few days later, our dad came home from a drop of tea with Bridie and Jim to tell us that Jim Reel is a genius. He's a genius. You'd never believe what he did. He designed a little engine for his bicycle. And he can go anywhere he wants now and as fast as he wants. Well, Michael and I fell round the place laughing. Good man, Jim. No point in suffering too much when you're out on your bike. There's another great memory of Jim in our house that we always, and I mean always recall every year for about 30 years now, around the feast of Little Christmas, January 6th, the Three Wise Men and the Epiphany. Jim strolled in home from the late mass that morning here in St. Oliver's and Michael and I were sitting at the kitchen table, as Paddy would tell you, eating his breakfast. Anyway, there we were sitting at the kitchen table eating Paddy's breakfast. In strolls Jim. Good man, Jim, says I. Who said mass? Mm, yeah, uh, Father Kelly, Father Kelly, yeah. Great man, Father Kelly. Great man to sing at Mass, Father Kelly. Great man, Father Kelly. Good man, says I to Jim. What did he say in the homily? Mm, yeah, the homily. Yeah, good question. Yeah, good question. Good question. What did he say in the homily? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has a star. <whistles> Follow your star. Follow your star. That's what he did. Jim followed the star of the Christ child for over 87 years. His devotion to the protection of Padre Pio, his love of the rosary, his commitment to daily mass down there in that little corner beside Bridie. They were the outward expressions of a powerful life of faith 
walking closely to God every step of the way. Believing as he did in the words of today's gospel story from John. I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. And as Jim trusted in those words during his life, so today, as we gather round him in prayer for his final journey back home to God, reunited with his parents, his sister Bridie, and all who have gone before him, we draw comfort from the words of the Mass preface that we will hear in just a few moments. Lord, for your faithful people, life is changed, not ended. And so today for Jim Reel, life is changed, not ended. A little part of Jim will always live on inside every one of you, protecting you from danger, and guiding your every step through the grace and power of God. Frank Sinatra's powerful song seems to resonate with so many people's life story. As Frankie comes to the last few lines, For what is a man, what has he got? If not himself, then he is not. To say the things he truly feels and not the words of one who kneels. The record shows I took the blows and did it my way. Jim, the record shows a wonderful life of kindness and care to your dear family and to all those of us who are so privileged to know you. And now, as we accompany you on your last journey from this church back to God, may Christ, the way, the truth, and the life, welcome you safely home to live forever in his presence. Amen. Invite Joanne and Anna for the prayer of the faithful. We pray for those whose lives are dedicated to caring for the sick. We pray especially for the staffs and doctors of Watergate Medical Centre and the staff and doctors of Our Lady's Hospital and also our field who cared for our grand and Jim so well. <laughs> May God reward their kindness and goodness. Lord hear us. Lord graciously hear us. Just take your time now. <laughs> we pray in thanksgiving for the neighbours and friends who have been so kind to grand and Jim's fam fam family at this time. May God reward their kindness and bless their homes with happiness and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for young people. May they always value goodness, kindness and faith. May they see the beauty of the gift of life. May they come to know the, God, the Father's love for each and every one of them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray for all who have died, remembering especially the relatives and friends of our dear dad, Jim, who has gone, and all those who have gone before him, marked with the sign of faith. Especially dad's parents, James and Kathleen, his sister, Bridie. 
We also remember our mother Bridie's family, especially her father Joe, her mother Annie, her sister Mary Kate, and her niece Anne. May God unite them all in the happiness and peace of his heavenly home. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We come before you, Father, with all our intentions. We pray God to bless and grant all our lawful desires through this in Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands to the praise and glory of his name for all God's Church. Amen. As to humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of his servant, Jim, we beseech your mercy that he who did not doubt his son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For as one alone has accepted death, so we might all escape from dying. As one man he chose to die, so that in your sight we all might live forever. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy we proclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full, full of your glory, hosts and the highest. Blessed be he who comes in the name of the Lord, hosts and the highest. You are indeed Holy Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make we live therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly to his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when suppers ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave a disciple saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which be poured of him for money for the forgiveness of sins, to this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life from the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope, Tom our Bishop, the clergy and religious. Remember your servant Jim, whom you have called from this world to himself. Grant that Jim, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our sisters and brothers, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, Saint Oliver Plunkett, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. Praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him are called Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, would I to say, Our Father, Our Father who, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come, your will, will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, us give us this day our daily bread, bread and, and forgive us our trespasses, trespasses as, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, trespass against, against us. And lead us not into temptation, temptation but, deliver but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and safe more distress, and so with the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, the set apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant a peace and unity in accordance with your will, will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord Jesus be with thee always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins, sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the sins of the world, world have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. peace. Behold the Lamb of God, the Lord Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord God, whose Son left us the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our brother Jean may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now before the final commendation, um, I'd love, love to sing a special piece, a love and memory of Jim Reel. Uh, it's an old time classic uh, made popular by Jim Reeves. It is no secret what God can do. The chimes of time ring out the news Another day is through 
someone slipped and fell was that someone you you may have longed for all the strength your courage to renew do not be disheartened I have news for you it is no secret what God can do what is done for others he will do for you with arms wide open he'll pardon you it is no secret what God can do there is no night for in his light you'll never walk alone you always feel at home wherever you may roam there is no power that can conquer you while God is on your side take him up this promise don't run away on hide it is no secret what God can do what is done for others he will do for you with arms wide open he'll pardon you it is no secret what God can do and before we go our separate ways let us take leave of our brother may our farewell express our affection for he made ease our sadness and strengthen our hope one day we shall joyfully greet him again when the love of Christ which conquers all things destroys even death itself and I will spring James casket with the holy water a reminder of the special bond that exists between the Lord Jesus Christ and Jim a relationship that began on the day of his christening and thereafter incense his casket uh, with blessed uh, incense and the incense rising from the censer is a symbolic representation of our prayers for Jim at this time
invite you to please stand. <laughs> Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Saints of God, come to his aid. Hasten to meet him, angels of the Lord. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto him, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon him. Receive his soul and present him to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our brother Jim in this short certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, he will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon Jim in this life that are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn to us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us to remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until all meet in Christ and are with you and with our brother forever. May the angels lead you into paradise. May the martyrs come to welcome you and take you to the holy city, the new and eternal Jerusalem. In peace, let us take our brother to his place of rest. Troubles. 